Um, you know, just weren't accurate. We had no no tempo on, on our game. We've probably given away some soft penalties, uh, loud than some, and just weren't accurate enough. So you know, kind of the message is, at half time was it was just simple: just go out there and play some rugby and get some bit more pace into our game. And we did that in the second half. So yeah, so probably a lot of learning from today. But um, you know, that, you know, after that first half, was a step in the right direction. Well, you've got to change and make quite a few changes as well at half time. Yeah, I think we just wanted to get some. We well, said the ball was pretty slow in that first half, which made it difficult. And then at the end, the only option we were having was you know, putting the ball up in the air and got a bit of a reward from that. But um, yeah, so um, Sam Costello, he was, he was a, an HIA that he'd failed that, so the you only know, um Stayed on the field, and then yeah, we replaced what Thomas Williams and and, um, and Elliot D. Those, those two guys, and Liam Brown had a bit of a knock on his shoulder, so Kieran Azarati had come on there. Yeah, he just side in the second half. Is that been going for? Uh, like I just said to the players, um, you yeah, know, did we give Scotland too much respect in the in that first half? And um, they were fully loaded, and you know, we're a young team, and so to do what we did. Uh, after being 27 nil down, and uh, other players or other teams might have shown less character and said, "You know, we'll start thinking about next week and throw in the towel a little bit." But they didn't do that. They they kept fighting, and we put ourselves in a position to win the game. So, um, yeah, I thought that really showed some some real character from from those boys in the second half or the team in the second half. In that final ten minutes, do you think we're going to win? There's anything you could have different? Yeah, got to. You get a chance of a penalty and you got to win the line out, don't you? <coughs> uh, I, I haven't really had a look at that yet. We've probably had an, another opportunity. Um, we've got numbers. We could have uh, put the ball out the back and, and, and exploited some space out wide. And we've played, we've played front line. So you know, whether our communication was good enough at that moment, I'm, I'm not too sure. So yeah, we'll we'll review. Uh, pretty hard, and and look at those those big moments. Um, you know, the test match rugby is about making sure you get the simple things right and get and and do that, and then um, and when your opportunities come, you've got to be accurate. And so, you know, we weren't we weren't that in, in the first half, but we were a lot better in the second. Contrasting first game versus captain, first half and second half. How do you assess it? Yeah, I think just firstly, it was incredibly, incredibly proud of the boys in the second half. Obviously, we could have thrown in the towel and given up, but we showed amazing fight to stay in there. Obviously, in our first half, we weren't as accurate as we wanted to be. Give Scotland easy ends, and, and, and like Gat said, just, just uh, show them too much respect. And as an occasion, in terms of the way that we came back second half, what well, that little memory? Yeah, obviously, it's an incredible. It, my family are incredibly proud, and. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really doesn't really mean nothing if, if you're not winning. So, how do you want to defeat at the end of the day? How do you turn it around and the next week? What's that? How do you defeat at the end of the day? How do you turn it around and the next week? It's just got to be played like we played in the second half, don't we? So we've got to learn from that experience and go out there and um, you know they had, a they had a tough one today as well, England. So um, and they're probably in a little bit of a rebuilding phase too. And so we go there with the with a lot of confidence that we can build on that second half performance and and and, and belief really. I think that's that's the biggest thing. Matt? Warren, is there an element that with a team in transition, a lot of young players on the field that maybe this is the way it's gonna be for the time being? Sometimes it's gonna click and they're gonna play fantastic rugby, but other times they're gonna be learning things and perhaps not having this back. Yeah well that's a that's a thing with uh, putting youngsters out and uh, you, you can't coach experience, and when you're out there and the, the 75,000 people there and they're making that noise, and there's a bit of pressure on the, the pace and intensity of the games, a little bit quicker than you normally and compared to, to to club rugby, you know, sometimes that takes um, it takes time for for players to get used to that, and so yeah, we we will need a little bit of um, a little bit of leeway, but this is still international rugby, and it's still really important and. As Dave said, it's about it's about winning, and that's what we've got to focus on. And so, you know, we need to be 
critical and tough on ourselves and look where we can get better as a, as a team. A lot, was, a lot of talk was about Cam Winnick before this match, obviously, young guy making his debut. What did you make of, of how he handled himself? Well, he was good. He was accurate and, um, and, and got some more involvements in the second half. Um, he didn't get many attacking opportunities in, in that first half, but you know, I think for a, a debut, debut to see someone um, as accurate as he was, he, was, he, he looked calm and in control, and I think he'll be better for that. Okay. Anyone else, Rob? So, Warren, how many games do you think this team's going to need under its belt before it can maybe start with a bit more confidence and a bit more direction? And 64. 60. I don't know, Rob. No. Yeah. Um, one season, two seasons. I mean, oh, hopefully, hopefully not that long. I think uh, it's you know how long is a piece of string, isn't it? It's kind of like there's, there's never any magical formula for that. It's kind of like we've got to be better next week and then better the week after as a group and and build on confidence, keep working hard, and um, and when it clicks and as a group for not for just forty minutes but for eighty minutes, it's kind of that's the consistency you aim for, yeah. And at least after that second half, going to trick it the next week won't be quite as daunting. No, I think you can go there and say, that's, we, we know what we want to do. We, um, that's, you know, probably those things in the first half, it was this point we things that we've worked on in terms of trying to speed the game up and play with some tempo and things that were, those are things that are in your control where you take quick taps and We've probably come under a little bit of pressure, and we've sort of gone back into a bit of a safety mode and slowed things down, and um, taking a safe option of kicking the ball rather than going out and playing rugby and being positive. And that's, but that that happens with um, sometimes as you're gaining experience, guys get used to that and, and, and comfortable with that, and probably didn't help ourselves. Like I said, with some discipline and some some key moments with um, some lineouts in the first half. Elgin? I oh, were you having any flashbacks to that 2010 game? It felt like the last five minutes only for an entire half of <laughs> um, No, it's just kind of... Uh, yeah, I, I don't... Like I said, we were disappointed. We just need to... We needed to pick ourselves up and, and show some show some pride in, in terms of what it meant for us in the second half. And so, yeah, as, as David said yeah, and they should be proud of that because they didn't throw in the towel and they could have done that and they put themselves in a position to win the game and but well, you know we've, we've got to make sure that we're, we're a bit smarter than than we are and if you look at it you go what's the difference between the game it's you know Josh Adams throwing the ball over the over the over the touchline and being penalised and that's three points you know so um, yeah it's uh, it's um, yeah, so there's, there's some positive learnings from that. Okay, anyone else? No? Right, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much.